finally I have two hours on the computer so I'm going to go through this as quickly as I can. About a month ago I made a video where I spoke about the missions of the UAS, one of those being a free economy. Now it's not specific to them, there are lots of countries throughout the world who say they have a free economy whereas in reality they don't. For example over here you can't sell your medication. I mean I could go on eBay, try and sell my morphine, number one I'd be in agony, number two I'd probably lose my account and end up in court. So you can't do that. Alcohol is a restriction. You have to be a minimum of 18 years old before you can buy it over here in Britain. So whereas we, we're we told we have a free economy, it isn't completely free. But on the UIS it says they offer a completely free economy. They have 0% tax on personal and corp corporate accounts. When I was discussing this mission, I remember saying, oh, it's a really good idea to have a, you know, a lot of freedom, to have people not have to do things that they don't want to. And as soon as I said that, I knew that there was a problem and I couldn't work out for the life of me what it was. It's taken me probably three weeks to put all the parts together and come up with something that's potentially quite disturbing. I suspected something wasn't right after Steve McCullough was elected as president of the UAS. Why you say? Well, it's because he is also the CEO of Apollo Fintech. I don't believe for one minute that the UAS and Apollo just came together because they were approached by the UAS. I don't think if they were really looking for a fintech company to help them out they would have gone with Apollo because if you do some research online they don't have very bad a very good reputation there are far better fintech companies than Apollo so that was a bit odd if the UAS had been looking for a cryptocurrency that had potential then why on earth did they go with the APL this is from WalletInvestor.com and their information is updated every three minutes. And this is what it says today on the 1st of September. Buy or sell Apollo currency? Cryptocurrency market and coin exchange report. Prediction for the future. You'll find the Apollo currency price prediction below. According to present data, Apollo currency and potentially its market environment has been in bearish cycle for the last 12 months, if it exists. Now, bearish cycle means it's been going down. Our AI cryptocurrency analyst implies that there will be a negative trend in the future and the APL are not a good investment in bold letters for making money. Since this virtual currency has a negative outlook, we recommend looking for other projects. So a free market means you can buy and sell virtually anything. I found this on the Apollo website. It's under their decentralized products and this is the decentralized marketplace. It says, the Apollo decentralized marketplace will allow users to buy, sell and trade physical and digital goods using the Apollo currency. Users can list goods to be sold locally or even worldwide. Trading will be decentralised and untraceable, allowing the free trade of any item. Future updates will include a review and reputation system, aiding sellers in building a positive reputation based on experiences. This to me sounds like a, an eBay type thing, except it's using the Apollo currency. The part that worries me is it's untraceable. Another benefit of having Apollo currency is the coin shuffling. When I read this, I immediately thought of one of those seaside games where you put tuppence in the machine and you try and jiggle all the other tuppences out to win probably 12 pence. But it isn't that at all. Coin shuffling is an additional privacy feature allowing your Apollo as well as other assets or currencies held in the account to be simply and randomly shuffled between user accounts this allows an account holder to anonymise their funds and transactions nearly instantly. So as you can tell just by looking at these two Apollo products, this fits really nicely in with the UAS's mission of total freedom.
and this is where the penny dropped for me. We have a free market with no regulations and a business partner whose company offers totally anonymous banking and the ability to trade in anything you want. So in other words, Steve McCullough, president of the UAS, will give free reign to Apollo, the partner company, of which he is CEO. The possibility to, to trade in anything with anonymity was a worry for me. So I decided to look at Apollo's initiatives and what I discovered was disgusting. We know about the two MOUs that Apollo signed at the end of last year with Zimbabwe and Lesotho. But what else have they got going on? Well, if you go to the Apollo website, it's been recent recently updated and you'll find a timeline section of activity which provides all their initiatives both in progress and completed. The full circle with a tick means it's finished and the green circle with a dotty line so a part, part circle is in progress. The picture on the screen shows all the places where Apollo has decentralised banking. So we have Georgia in Eastern Europe, Iowa in the States, Alaska, Australia, and of course South Africa, which I'll be going into in more detail. Apart from using Apollo's decentralised bank system, what do these countries have in common? Give up? Human trafficking. Yep, that's right, every single one of them, even down to the specific town in New South Wales of Potts Point. Remember these initiatives that I showed you a couple of frames back? Well, there's loads of countries on it. I've been through every single place and they all have a large drugs and human trafficking problem. I'm not going to go through all the places that Apollo has initiatives with, but if we look at this, this is from last year, an article from the BBC and it's talking about Seychelles drug problem. Then we have Comoros, so you got the island and it's a tier three. This is from the United States government and it says they have a human trafficking problem. Well, that's it. Um, as I said, I'm not going to go through them all. There's a few, few more on the screen above. You can go through them yourselves from the list if you go on the Apollo website and go to their dashboard. It, it was an eye-opener, I tell you. I was, I was wondering why they had targeted those places. I didn't realise there were that many initiatives, but while I'm not saying I think the UAS and Apollo, well, it's the same thing, isn't it? It's Steve McCullough. I don't think they're into human trafficking, or well, I hope they aren't, but I think it will be, say, very good for their business having targeted those particular areas. I mean, you imagine how easy it will be for the traffickers or the drug dealers to take their money and put it into an anonymous bank account and transfer it on also anonymously. That's all I want to say for this video. I will be back when there's some more news and when I can get on the computer. So I'm going to leave you with this uh, bit of an eye opener. Thank you.